Hello YouTube and uh, congratulations for having the attention span to make it to 6 out of 8 and um, this tutorial I'll be uh, going over some program structure so that you can write a big program in uh, batch without being like unorganized or inefficient and it sounds boring but it's actually really useful stuff so Firstly, what I have here, which you may not recognize, is the double colon. What a double colon does is it makes a comment. Comment. Um, a comment is a line that's ignored. It's uh, not executed. And you can use it to explain parts of your program or what a variable might do. And you would use it for... Uh, understanding your own code as well as explaining it to someone else that you might need to send it to. Um, it's just a good idea to have commenting to explain what's going on, especially if your program gets bigger and you might not understand what you coded for something for. But uh, And then the next thing you might not be familiar with is the fact that I don't have a slash p after my set. And what a set, what a slash p would do is uh, that assigns variable the value of a string or to user input, but uh, with this I can just set it to a numerical value. So I just set add and subtract and multiply and divide and answer to zero. I just initialize everything to zero because that's easier. And then uh, in the user menu, what this program does is it's a uh, calculator, a four function calculator, and you enter the first number and then you enter the second number and then it asks if you would like to add, subtract, or multiply or divide. And then it, uh, it's got a variable called choice, and you enter the number of your choice. So that's, um, that's just how it's structured. But once we get into this part, this is what I'm going to be talking about. So the redirector is this section right here, and say I typed in 1 for add then it would set add equal to 1 and with add e being equal to 1 which I had equal to 0 up here that's going to allow us to get into the function called add and then go to addition this uh, is the go to and label loop thing that I talked about uh, in a previous tutorial and this takes me to the label addition so it skips all of this code and then it goes right to addition and then I have this if statement right here with the parentheses which are which do the same thing as they, did, they do in for loops the parentheses allows you to include multiple commands within an if so uh, in this if this is my function so if I say I'm going to my add function or my addition function then it would be this code right here and what a function does is it allows you to write some code once. So like, uh, say you had a code that takes what someone says and then makes it all capital letters. Then instead of doing that, writing the code for that multiple times, you could have a function that's called capitalize and then, or caps lock or something. And then you would use, you would say like go to capitalize and then you would need a variable for with an appropriate name for that uh, function and then you have the if and then it equals one so like right before the go to you would set it equal to one and that lets it get into the function and then ver at the very end you would set it back equal to zero that way you can just place the functions wherever you want in your code and they will only execute if you uh, made if you made the code one so in order to call that function you need to set it equal to one and that's just that's one of the methods to um, organize functions within your code and this is an example of how to use them right here this for function calculator has a function for addition subtraction multiplication and division and so once I finish with the addition set slash a answer equals num1 plus num2 uh, then it'll skip all of the code down here. So it won't go to subtraction because subtraction is not equal to 1. Subtract is not equal to 1. Multiply is equal to 0. Divide is also equal to 0. So it won't go into any of these other functions. And then 
uh, just echoes my answer. But uh, just in case I didn't mention this in an earlier tutorial, set slash A, the slash A instead of slash P, that that allows you to uh, that allows you to set a variable equal to num arithmetic expressions. So I could do a variable plus another variable, a variable minus another variable, a variable times another variable, and the multiplication sign for code is an asterisk, and then the forward slash is the verb, the uh, sign for your them. Uh, it's the sign for division. So, and that is uh, that's a basic program structure practice as well as commenting, which you should adapt. And uh, yeah, um, I will see you guys in, or I'll not see you guys, but I'll talk to you guys. And uh, installment seven. I don't know what is going on. Installment seven, which comes after six. So I'll uh, see you guys. I'll talk to you.